Jim, this is Cal. We spoke yesterday on that aluminum trailer. Yeah. Hey, I just want to let you know I'm uh, grabbing some cash. I'm heading your way. I'll be there in about 45 minutes. Yeah, no problem. All right. Yeah, the 7K aluminum deck 18 foot. Yep, I already got a pull for you there. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, sir. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, so I got my money. It is about 30, 30 minutes away, not too far. I thought it was gonna be farther than that. Um, so on the way there, instead of just being a boring ride, playing music in the background, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how Push I Steel wanted to buy my uh, my elephant. Well, it wasn't a elephant at the time. It was still at the red eye setup, and that's when he wanted to buy it. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, when I was first finishing the car up and I was actually posting pictures about it, he started to comment on the pictures and a lot of people started to notice that and a lot of people started to hint that oh i'm gonna sell it to him and that was gonna be the next rapper to buy it after a little baby bought the other one um so then he dm me and i uh, i'll show you guys the dms in a second so he wanted to buy it we set up everything we kind of agreed on a price it wasn't really locked in um it wasn't too far away from what i wanted but at the same time it was way under what i was asking so i told him after i finished it up uh, then we'll come to an agreement. I'll bring it down. He can look at it and uh, we'll go from there Oops south. I thought I was going north And then um, so we went back and forth and the car took a while to finish up If you guys remember the car was at liver noise for about eight weeks And then after I got it back from liver noise, it took about two to three weeks at flagship so the the promised time for the car to get finished until it really got done was a uh, a lot longer uh, which w wasn't really my fault i mean things took longer than expected and the parts were just taking forever to come in especially due to covid so after it got done um and this is not too oh damn what the hell is that this wasn't too long ago so after it got done and i hit him back and um we're trying to set it up for delivery he just quit answering me and i, I didn't really know what happened at the time until i seen uh, you know on instagram and whatnot that um he got he got locked up for whatever happened and then i realized that's the reason why he wasn't answering so i re i mean honestly everything happens for a reason low key i really didn't want to sell it i wanted to make some you know content with it and then i know i can still get the money i want for it even after you know i'm done filming with it for yeah it is you know what a red eye is red eye got two twin on the dash this ain't no regular red eye <laughs> I ain't no bread, I did. Wait, let me let me let me show you something. Hold on. Stay, stay on the phone. Here's our team. Shite the real talk. Let me let me show you something. you know a year i have it or just how long i decide to keep it i can still sell and make some money off it but at the same time i didn't want to lose an opportunity to sell it to him because he's a really big famous um rapper out there and i know i, I know if i made that video um i was gonna make a lot of money just off that that one content video but at the same time it, um the way i thought about it is if i did sell it the, the the 300 i mean obviously everyone knows is like the the main thing on my channel so if i got rid of it my channel would have died out and my i would have lost my whole youtube thing so that was um that was a thing to think about and i didn't want to lose a lot on that so i think just everything happened for a reason so after he quit replying um i guess the deal was dead and i decided to put the halifin motor in there then as you can see the videos are doing pretty good and um i'm gonna keep it the way it is um and a lot of people are asking am i ever gonna sell it i mean eventually i will i mean everything always changes and uh, i want to get something new build something new but at the same time like this thing is uh it's very rare especially with the motor that's in it so i don't know i mean um it's, you know everything's for sale for the right money if you know me personally um i'm always about the money and um make them so we'll see so um right now we're heading down to grab the trailer the trailer the reason i'm grabbing a trailer is first and i do need one you know just to move cars around if i'm buying a new car instead of you know driving and putting miles on it i can just tow it back and i have this really big series coming along and i hope it works out with uh I, I can't tell you guys so much details but if it works a lot of new things are going to change on the channel in a good way and then you guys are going to wait to see that 
And then if you guys didn't watch the video on how to make your Uconnect play video, uh, videos like this, and YouTube videos, make sure to check that out. I explain on how to do that, what device you need to buy, and it, you know, it does not need a jailbreak to make this work. It's literally a plug-in device. You connect to your hotspot, and then it turns your whole radio into like this, uh, this little Android tablet where you could do a whole bunch of things, watch Netflix, play video games. Well, I don't think you play video games. I know you can play like little games on there. Um, you could browse Google Chrome. It's really cool. It's like having a real life tablet in your car. So we're on the way now. Once we get there, I'll show you guys a trailer that I picked up. Um, I did the research before I pulled the trigger on this one. And for the market, the way it is now, I mean, everything is expensive. So I didn't get it really cheap. But uh, for what it is, it's worth the money. It's a full aluminum trailer, aluminum bed, um, aluminum floor. So I don't want something that's gonna rust. I do live in Michigan and it's gonna be stored outside. So I don't want it to uh, you know, have rust spots after the winter's done. So I'll show you guys how that one looks once we get there and get it loaded and come back to the house. All right, so we made it. <clears throat> uh, USA trailer sales in Jackson, Michigan. And he said he already pulled it up, so I don't know where he put it. I also gotta buy a hitch and all that stuff. I don't got none of that. And there she is. Looks pretty nice too with those wheels. I like it. Let's pull up front. Money, wallet, that's all we need. It's a pretty nice size too. I just wish I had one of those cargo boxes right over here so I could uh, put my straps in there and stuff. We got the ramps on the side right over here. I like it. I don't think it's bad for a first trailer. Let's go inside, do some paperwork, and get it loaded. Hi. Jim? Yes, I am. Hey, Cal, nice My hands are wet. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I'm just short handed trying to get stuff done. Is it, I guess that's the one out there? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, the 18 foot 7K? Yep. Yeah, did you look at it? Yeah, I did. I mean, I don't know if you want to show me. Yeah. It's my first trailer, so I'm just trying to mm -hmm. make sure you're getting the right thing. Yeah. What's the load weight on this? 7,000. Okay. And the trailer weighs around 15 something, I think I said. So about just under 5,500, a little over 55,000 pounds. Okay. On it. What is this thing over here? This box? That's the breakaway box. So this is basically, this is a switch. It hooks up like your safety chain and then if this switch pulls out of there. There's a battery in here. Okay. Yeah. Lux, uh, locks, oh, locks the wheels. Oh, the wheels. Yeah, so it doesn't hurt somebody. Cool. Yep. Got your D4D rings in. Rope rail. Removable fenders just unhook them and the whole fenders lift right off. Okay. Both sides. Two, foot, two ramps, five foot ramps right there. So the ramps just pull out from the mm -hmm. side? Yeah. Cool. Those are supposed to be lightweight, I guess, because they're aluminum. Yeah, they're not bad. They're pretty stout, but not yeah, bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. I like how they store it to the side. Yep. And then, you know, you can put them in this trough back here, you know, any width you want. You don't right. Yeah. This HA trailer is supposed to be like a go on? Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, they make pretty nice trailers. H and H and RC is the only one trailers we carry, you know. Okay. You said this was your last one, wasn't it? Yeah, I only got only this is the only H and H aluminum bed I got in stock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Cool, man. I'll take it. All right. And then uh, I, I I talked to you about uh getting yeah, a hitch and stuff. Yeah, back up here and then I'll get some yeah. stuff and we'll figure out what you need. Okay? All right, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some stuff and I'll be right back. What do you need? Just my ID? No, no, just back your car up. I'm gonna grab some ball mounts and stuff to see what ball mounts. No, for paperwork wise, just yeah, my just your address. ID. Okay. Yeah, we'll get down with this. Need your ID. Cool. I've always wanted one, man. I just didn't know which one to go with. Oh, okay. Yeah. This makes things look pretty nice for you. Sure. It's a pretty nice size too. Yeah, it's right in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I've seen some that are too short where the car is like neck to neck and I'm like, eh. Yeah. I don't want that. Oops, excuse yeah. me. Nope, you're good. Okay. And like I said, worst scenario I'll have to do is just take that thing and flip it. Alright. You think I should buy two? One with the upside down and No. No? Don't need that? Once you get home, I just don't want to raise it all the way up and make it pull like shit yeah. home. Yeah. Once you put your car on there, you'll know where it wants to be and then you'll just leave it probably. Okay. Most people, that's what they do. I was recommend that when you put a car in here, bring it as close as possible or leave it centered. No, you can center it on there. If, you, okay. if your vehicle looks like it's got too much tongue weight, okay. you can surely, um, you know, leave it back a little bit. Okay. You want to try to balance it, you know what I mean? Right, right. But dude, there's no reason to uh, put it all sure. on your vehicle. That's why I said it might be okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You see, and I picked the trailer up by hand. Yeah. So that's why I said, you know, he bails it out. You want some tongue weight, don't get me wrong, you gotta have some tongue weight, but you don't need it so much worse. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So they got a new light, they're gonna throw it on there, and then we should be all good to go. It was working, it was just really dim, so just probably a, a bad LED. So I'm gonna go in there, get some paperwork done, and then head back to the creep. That's it, we got our paperwork. I had them replace the other side light so they match. Kinda looks better with the black uh, background instead of the chrome or the clear. That's it. We are ready to go. Let's see how it looks when we, uh, oops. That's a pretty nice view back there. And then we're gonna put the Hawk in tow mode, just like that. We're ready to go. I wanna go back the same way, so I'm, uh, I gotta turn that off. All right, guys, so that's it. My first trailer. Get my seat on. Uh, first time towing in the track hawk, so that's pretty fun. And uh, we're gonna get our first load. I'm gonna load up the elephant. That's gonna be the first car that goes on air. And like I said, I got some big things coming, so stay tuned for that. I gotta go fill some gas up and then we'll head back to the house. All right guys, so getting close to the house. Um, this thing drives perfect, man, for the way it hauls. I don't, I don't feel it, you know, waving or anything. It just pulls really fine. I was doing like 75 without an issue. 
So we're gonna take it back to the house, I'm gonna unload it, I gotta go to work in a couple hours, and then um, when I come back, I will actually, I've never loaded the car on a trailer, so I, I bought the straps, I bought some really good quality straps, I forgot the uh, brand name of it, but they're still at the house, they're still in the box, never use them. And then we'll load the trailer up with the elephant, and then um, tie it down, make sure everything's good, because our first road trip is coming up pretty soon, that's why I picked up the trailer this, year, uh, this early, and then we'll see how that goes. the way here from this uh one pallet place and it looks pretty good for um if i want to like you know send over a motor or something it looks pretty heavy duty but now i'm gonna uh take it to the house i'm gonna put it in the backyard for now and then like i said stay tuned i got a whole other interesting see i don't want to give you guys too much info on it but stay tuned for that that's what i bought the trailer for we're gonna be hauling the elephant around town and out of state and uh give you guys some content with that so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys back on the next one Oh, <laughs> oh,